Jen, I'm so glad that you came back to play with me. Well, today we're going to be doing some more work in the kitchen. Now, I know last week we made things like pizza and spaghetti sauce, but today we're going to be making some tasty holiday treats. Have you been helping your adults out in the kitchen recently to maybe make some cookies? I love baking cookies. So today we're going to see a lot of different things that help us to bake cookies. Things like stirring up batter or maybe putting them in the oven and cutting out the cookies with a cookie cutter. But before we do that, we're going to get our bodies warmed up. And for this, you're going to need your movement scarf. When the music plays, see if you can follow along with what I do. This song that we're going to be listening to is from a special holiday ballet called The Nutcracker. And the music that you are listening to is called the Trepet or the Russian Dance. So let's take a look at it. Jan Brett. The sassy gingerbread baby lived in a scrumptious gingerbread house in the bedroom of a boy named Maddie. He was happy with the toys and treats that Maddie made for him. Still, something was missing. One day, he watched Maddie go off with his friends to ski and to skate, and he knew what it was. I'm the gingerbread baby, happy as can be, until Maddie goes up and it's lonely here for me. I want a friend of my own, the gingerbread baby thought. The next morning, Maddie stayed home, but he was too busy in the kitchen to play. So the gingerbread baby slipped out and headed for the village to look for a friend. The gingerbread baby walked along the lane. He came to a bakery and saw a man and woman just his size in the window. Maybe they would like to be my friends, he thought. Inside, the gingerbread baby popped up in front of them and sang, I'm the gingerbread baby, peppy as can be. I'll be friends with you if you be friends with me. But the man and the woman just stared straight ahead like statues, eyes wide open. The gingerbread baby saw a sugar cookie girl nearby. He cartwheeled across the marshmallow snow, singing, I'm the gingerbread baby, gallant as can be. I'll be friends with you if you be friends with me. But she didn't look at him, and she didn't say a word. Next, the gingerbread baby spotted seven white swan swimming on a sugar frosting sea. He leaped toward them and called out in excitement. I'm the gingerbread baby, clever as can be. I'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me. But the elegant swans didn't even honk a hello. 
They stayed exactly as they were, stiff and still. The gingerbread baby turned and gazed up at a cake as tall as a mountain with a icy ledges and a man and a woman dancing on the top, petticoats and coattails flying. I'm the gingerbread baby, plucky as can be. I'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me. But when he reached the top, he saw that they weren't dancing at all. They were as still as stone. Gingerbread Baby was about to give up when he saw a door, just his size. I'll go in there and think about what to do next, he thought. He slid down the cake and ran inside, where he fell sound asleep. Do you know where he's going? Do you know what that is? Let's find out. Scritchy, scratchy, the gingerbread baby woke up and found himself face to face with a real, live mama mouse nibbling on his marshmallow pom-pom. Oh no, he thought, home is the place for me. And he ran out of the bakery with the mouse, the cat, the baker, and his wife not far behind him. As the gingerbread baby raced home on his rooster, the unfriendly creatures chasing him were joined by a red fox, who almost caught the gingerbread baby as he flew over the fence and ran into Maddie's house just in time. Tired and sad, the gingerbread baby started to cry. I'm the gingerbread baby, lonely as can be. No one wants to be my friend as far as I can see. But then he heard some singing and a trail of cupcakes caught his eye. He climbed the stairs and you'll never guess what he found. Do you want to take a guess? What do you think he found? Oh my goodness, look at that. We're gingerbread friends, playful as can be. We'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me and me and me. Look at all those gingerbread friends. gingerbread baby. Do you know who made all those gingerbread friends for the gingerbread baby? I think you're right. It was Maddie. That's why he was so busy in the kitchen. Well, that was Gingerbread Friends by Jan Brett. Well, that was a really fun story, and I think maybe it's time for us to make some gingerbread men. So we're going to bake our gingerbread men, and the first thing we have to do is stir up the gingerbread batter. Did you ever make gingerbread before? Well, when you make gingerbread, you have to put lots of spices in it. So we're going to be putting some spices in our gingerbread batter. And then it's kind of a thick dough, so we'll have to roll it out with a rolling pin. And then we'll take our cookie cutter cut out the little men. And then once we're done, we can put them in the oven. You ready? Get your bowl. Stir a bowl of gingerbread, smooth and spicy brown. Roll it with the rolling pin up and down. Take a cookie cutter and make some little men. Put them in the oven till half past 10. Can you show me 10 fingers? That's right. All right, let's do this again and see if we can go a little bit faster this time. We'll start by stirring. Stir a bowl of gingerbread, smooth and spicy brown. 
roll it with the rolling pin up and down. Take a cookie cutter and make some little men. Put them in the oven till half past ten. Good job. This time, do you think you could shout out some of the words that I leave out? All right, let's try it. Stir a bowl of gingerbread, smooth and spicy brown. Roll it with a rolling pin, up and down. You're right. Take a cookie cutter and make some little men. Put them in the oven till half past ten. Nice job. All right, let's try it again. If you know some of the words, say them with me this time. Let's start stirring. Stir a bowl of gingerbread, smooth and spicy brown. Roll it with the rolling pin up and down. Take a cookie cutter and make some little men. Put them in the oven till half past ten. All right, I think our gingerbread men are ready to eat. Let's take them out of the oven. We made five gingerbread men. Can you show me your five gingerbread men? One, two, three, four, five. Five gingerbread men lying on a pan. One jumped up and away he ran, sing and catch me, catch me, catch me if you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. All right, so we had five and one ran away. What do we have left? That's right, we have four left. Four gingerbread men lying on a pan. One jumped up and away he ran. Sing and catch me, catch me, catch me if you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man, the gingerbread man. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. All right, we had four and one ran away. Now I only have three gingerbread men lying on a pan. One jumped up and away he ran. Sing and catch me, catch me, catch me if you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man, the gingerbread man. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. All right, well, we were at three, but now one ran away. How many are left? That's right, we have two gingerbread men lying on a pan. One jumped up and away he ran. Sing and catch me, catch me, catch me if you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man, the gingerbread man. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. All right, we were at two, and one ran away. Now we only have one gingerbread man lying on the pan. He jumped up and away he ran. Sing and catch me, catch me, catch me if you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. All right, we started with five. I think all ran away. Now how many are on our pan? We have zero gingerbread men. No gingerbread men lying on the tray. They all jumped up and ran away. Next time I'll just make a plan to eat up all those gingerbread men. Gingerbread men, gingerbread men. Next time I'll eat those gingerbread men. The Doorbell Rang by Pat Hutchins. In this book, you'll need to help me with sound effects. So I want you to be a doorbell. A doorbell sounds like this. 
Ding dong. Can you do that? Ding dong. All right, let's see what happens in the doorbell rang. I've made some cookies for tea, said Ma. Good, said Victoria and Sam. We're starving. Share them between yourselves, said Ma. I made plenty. That's six each, said Sam and Victoria. They look as good as Grandma's, said Victoria. They smell as good as Grandma's, said Sam. No one makes cookies like Grandma, said Ma, as the door bell rang. Ding dong. Oh, I wonder who could be at the door. It was Tom and Hannah from next door. Come in, said Ma, you can share the cookies. That's three each, said Sam and Victoria. They smell as good as your grandma, said Tom. And look as good, said Hannah. No one makes cookies like grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. Ding dong. It was Peter and his little brother. Come in, said Ma. You can share the cookies. That's two each, said Sam and Victoria. They look as good as your grandma's, said Peter, and smell as good. Nobody makes cookies like grandma, said Ma, as the door bell rang. Ding dong. It was Joy and Simon with their four cousins. Come in, said Ma. You can share the cookies. Yes, look at all those kids at that table. Will there be enough cookies for everybody? That's one each, said Sam and Victoria. They smell as good as your grandma's, said Joy. And look as good, said Simon. No one makes cookies like grandma, said Ma. As the door bell rang. Ding dong. And rang, ding dong. Do you know why they're not getting the door? I don't think they want to share their cookies. Oh dear, said Ma, as the children stared at the cookies on their plate. Perhaps you better eat them before we open the door. We'll wait, said Sam. It was Grandma! with an enormous tray of cookies. How nice to have so many friends to share them with, said Grandma. It's a good thing I made a lot. And no one makes cookies like Grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. Ding dong. Nice job, so that was the Doorbell Rang by Pat Hudgens. Let's see if you can make some more doorbell sounds with me. I'm going to mi mix them up a bit and make some different patterns. Can you sing this? Ding, ding, dong. Ding, dong. Dong, ding. Dong, dong, ding. Ding, dong, ding. Nice job. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for stopping by and baking some cookies with me. Maybe this weekend you can help out at your house to bake some cookies. Maybe your job could be to stir up the batter or maybe sprinkle on some sugar. I hope you have lots of fun over the holidays. Bye! Goodbye, we certainly had fun. It is time to go now. Goodbye, our singing time.